Hey everyone, welcome Kerr Dog here. Welcome to Kerr Dog's Corner. Thanks for all your feedback. Uh, today I'd like to touch on analytics a little bit. Uh, a lot of questions about analytics and the importance of it in hockey. Well, let me tell you, I think that anything you do, uh, wouldn't you like to have the most information you can have to make a decision? Of course you would. As a coach, it's a little different. As a general manager, it's an absolute necessity. When you're about to sign a player, whether it's for 50000 or $5 million, you want as much information as you can on that player. So analytics are huge. But analytics are also used at the draft. They use players. They use all these statistics to base decisions on. And it's, it's necessity. It's the way the game has evolved. But I tell you, as a coach, you'd never put a player on the ice based on his stats, based on his SAT, his course, his puck possession, all these things. You put a player on the ice because you trust them. An example, uh, they're making a lot of stink about this in, in Edmonton, and uh, I feel for Todd McClellan. I really like Chris Russell. I think he's a great player. But Chris Russell, statistically, is a bad player. But is he a bad player? He play, plays over 18 minutes a night. I think he's a phenomenal defenseman. He brings so much to your team. Um, you know, the stats are one thing, but a coach, when they trust you and they put you on the ice, and you can do the job because a coach believes the analytics don't matter when it comes to a game time decision. This is Dog here. Thanks for all your following. We'll be in touch soon. Keep her going out there. Talk soon.